New Zealand, is continuing to speed up its border reopening plan, by allowing visa-free countries to enter in May, instead of July, as originally planned. In this video, we talk about New Zealand's step forward to welcome tourists again. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below. As it helps to support our channel. Oh. And don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe, that travel improves and inspires you, and the people around you. We help you travel, by providing services, which overcome barriers, and frameworks, that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator, when you're ready for your adventure, or already on one, and would like some assistance. Countries are in the process of adapting and changing their COVID travel measures as more people become vaccinated across the globe. New Zealand announced it would begin reopening to international travellers from visa waiver countries on 1 May 2022, without any quarantine measures. Citizens from the United Kingdom, Japan, Canada, Germany, South Korea, the United States, and Singapore are among those able to visit New Zealand without a visa. Every traveller must present proof of full vaccination, as well as a negative pre-departure COVID-19 test, to enter New Zealand beginning May. New Zealand entered the first phase of its reopening plan on 27 February, permitting fully vaccinated New Zealanders living in Australia, to return home to visit friends and family. A week later, the government moved on to step two of its reopening plan. Vaccinated arrivals no longer have to self-isolate upon arrival, but anyone over the age of two will continue to test for COVID-19. All travellers will be given two rapid antigen tests for free, upon arrival at Auckland Airport for self-administration, after leaving the airport. The first test will be done upon arrival, and the second is done on day five, or six after arrival. Travellers who do test positive from either of these tests, will be required to take a PCR test, to confirm their result. If they are positive, they'll be instructed to quarantine. Quarantine entry requirements will still apply to unvaccinated New Zealand citizens and residents who are the only unvaccinated individuals who can enter the country. Originally, the government had planned to reopen by July 2022, but has moved up its schedule. For more information, please visit New Zealand's official tourism website. The link is on our blog post. Do you have plans to visit New Zealand? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.